Today we're going to be looking at how to record your iPhone screen in iOS 13. Now this functionality is actually included on your iPhone, but a lot of people don't actually know about it. By the end of this video, you'll know how to record your iPhone screen, including the sound should you need it. This is the Tech Guru where we look at all things technical. We provide how-to videos like this video today to help people solve tech-related problems. Okay, so let's jump into the detail now. Okay, so the option to enable this feature is hidden in the control center. And a lot of people don't know you can actually record your screen because it's not easily got to. So let's just go ahead and look into this. So if we go into our settings tab here, now if we go into the, scroll down to control center, um, basically, if you look at the option there to customize the controls, if you click on that now, if obviously the screen recorder is already set up, it will appear in this sort of top part, which says include, but generally the default setting as I understand is that it actually appears in more control. So it is available, but it's not actually activated in, if you like, you can't use it. So if we actually click on the plus arrow, the green plus arrow, you can now see that it's actually, um, included at the top. So basically the screen recording icon will now appear in the control center. So once that's there, if we actually go into the control center and drag up from the bottom, you can see that the icons here, for example, the two circles here. So that's a screen recording icon. But just a useful tip actually, if you want to change the order of priority of them, you literally, where you've got your three gray lines here is just literally click on it, hold, and you can change the priority and the order wherever you want to be. So it appears near the top, for example. This doesn't bother some people, but some people actually like it that organized. So there, so that should appear at the top. So if we click to come out again and go into the control center, you can see actually it appears further up. So that's just a useful tip there, okay? Now the icon appears as two circles as pointed out earlier. Once pressed, you'll see the timer actually count down to three, two, one. Okay. And it starts recording. Okay. Now an indication that starts recording is there's a red band at the top of the screen. Okay. So you can do everything you want to, but there's no sound being recorded. Okay. And when you want to stop recording, you literally touch the uh, red line at the bottom uh, at the top and press start recording. And it tells you actually where the screen recording is saved to. So that's to record the screen only. We'll be looking at how to record your screen and sound in a moment. If you're getting value from this video today, be sure to hit the like button. We'll jump back into the video now. However, you can actually record the screen and enable the microphone. So you can have, if you like, something narrated or you can just speak over, um, for example, when you're doing the recording. So it's the same principle, it's the same button, but this time you literally hold it down for about a couple of seconds. And basically it gives you, um, the screen recording icon, the camera roll here, which is the source. That's where it should all be always be ticked. Okay. And as the, you can start recording here. So one thing to bear in mind is when you're recording sound, as it says at the top here, everything on the screen, including notifications will be recorded. So if you don't want to be disturbed, if you, i.e., if you don't want to get notifications whilst you're recording, you just need to enable do not disturb to prevent unexpected notifications. So that's just a useful tip. Okay. So for example, if we wanted to do some recording of the screen, we literally hit start recording. It counts down again. And obviously you can turn the microphone on there. So that's quite a useful tip. Okay. And then you obviously do whatever you need to do on the screen in terms of recording the screen. And also if you want to uh, record via the microphone, the same process again, when you want to stop, you literally just hit stop recording. And in order to see what you've recorded, you literally just click on the notification and it takes you directly into the last video that you've recorded. If you don't want to do that, you can actually go back to your photo album later and find it that way instead. And either way works. If you've got any thoughts or comments with regard to this video on how to record your iPhone screen in iOS 13, then please leave them below. Was the part of the video that you found particularly useful? Again, please comment below because it's really good to get feedback from you. And be sure to click the subscribe button to be the first to hear about any new tech related videos in the future, whether it's how-to videos like this one, product reviews, etc. Check out the links appearing on screen now to the other iPhone related videos that we have that you may find useful. We'll catch you on the next video.